point blank platform where we discuss issues confronting Africa and its citizens. Once again, in this edition, we are going freelance, that's carefree, food, drinks, and what have you. We're going to be talking about slay queens, relationship, breakups, sugar daddies, and what have you. I have Mr. Kwisi Frimpon. He's a financial expert. And I have Dr. Gloria Baba Noble Ferrison. She has a passion for the youth. And over here, I have Efia Schwarzenegger. And also, I have Dr. Prince Boache, a medic with special interest in Africa's development. Welcome, guys. Thank okay, you. Dr. Prince, I'm going to start from you. Relationship. Right. Relationship. Relationship. You being a married man, what comes on your mind when you hear the word relationship? Well, um, I, I believe relationship um, is an institution. Um, it's one of the oldest institutions that you know um, were created in this world. Um, obviously, I'm a medic, uh, but prior to that, I studied zoology, and zoology 301. Um, you learn about animal behavior, okay? And humans are animals, so um, from the beginning, beginning, humans were also living like animals. So men chasing after women, impregnating them, and then um, mothers giving birth. And these kids barely knew their fathers, but they only knew, all, all, always knew their, their mothers. And so, um, according to the um, Chinese annals, um, this emperor, Emperor Fu He, um, decided that, you know what, let's create a constitution. Okay? So, he started the idea of relationship and started the idea of um, marriage. Okay, if, if, if you, I think you might have an experience. You have dated me with a man or get married and you might have an experience. So what do you classify as a healthy relationship? What would you think of a healthy relationship is? Okay, so I'll start by saying relationship is not all about man and, and, and woman. Especially in this world. And it can be a man, man and man. Can be a man and man. Can be a woman and dog. That's right. Can be a man and dog. Man and chicken and things. So there are a whole lot of relationships. But a healthy relationship is the one that, you know, you people have good ground to communicate. You can... You can talk to each other without fighting or yelling. Um, a healthy relationship is whereby your partner is your, your friend. I, I tell people I meet all the time, if I can't make you my friend, I can't date you. The minute I, sh I meet you and we can't be good friends, we can't go out. Because when I, when, whenever I see good stuff, you should be the first person I tell. When I stumble on, when I'm having a bad day, you should be the first person. To tell. When, I, when I hit a good contract, it should be a first person to tell. So a good and healthy relationship basically is built on, on, on communication and, and trust. And these days, trusting is it's a big issue, but you, you, you must somehow try and, and trust each other, I think. And, and with God, as funny as it sounds. Sometimes he keeps the balance. That's right. And then a healthy relationship, one must be stupid. Is it? So you get there. So if, if you and a man get into a relationship, are you willing to be a strip, stupid one? How? <laughs> How can you cook that? But yeah, you know, as one must one one must play the damn one. Not all the time. Not all the time, but I mean every time one must be in character. So like if I am over the top, ah, 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 you, and you meet me that way, it's not going to work. But when I'm yelling and you're not talking, I can't yell forever. I'm not mad. Right. You, you get me? Okay. But when I yell and you yell back, probably even, probably whatever I'm yelling about or whatever you are yelling about, that's not warrant yelling or screaming. But sometimes human beings yell with your moods. That's right. What else? Yeah. So when I, I want to be with you, you are not perfect. I'm not perfect. You ought to be with it. <laughs> are you jealous now? No, no, are you no. jealous I'm actually now? happy for you too. If are you I, jealous? I'm, I'm, not, so... I'm not happy to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Perez, are you, are you dating? Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. Okay, so <laughs> if you to get into a relationship, what are the things you look up for in a man for you to be in a relationship? If you have mentioned quite a few elements, she, she will look up for trust and all mm -hmm. that. What would you look out for? Okay, so talking about relationship, like they've said already, it's not just about a man and a woman. It could be from... It, I believe that it starts right from home. Mm -hmm. The kind of relationship you have from home. 
what your parents are going to teach you. Dr. Prine said something that in some parts of the world, they, when their children grow up, they are used to their moms. It's because of the kind of relationship they have with, with their mothers that makes them glued to them. So back to your question, what I look out for is not something out of the ordinary. The first thing that comes into my if I want to get into a relationship is if I love the person. Not liking the person, but if you love the person. But can, I, can, you, can you not like the person and then in time develop into love? Because sometimes you well, might meet somebody, is, you could be just friends, well, and then through that you that might develop some sort starts. of affection for the yeah, person. That is where it starts. It's different when you are friends already. When you are friends already and then he, the guy goes, oh... I want to date you or something like that. It could then be a girl go, too, you know? Well, I well, don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, so it's either a man or a woman, whichever way. But what I look out for is if I love the person, number one, if I can trust the person, if I can be very honest with the person, like if he has said, you should be the first person that... To hear the good news. To hear the and good the news. news. Any, everything, you should be the first person I should tell. And I don't look out for someone who will criticize me. Like, Judge criticize you everything honest. you do. But can it not be, like, constructive criticism? I, it could I criticize be constructive. You and I give you a solution to what the problem that's, is. That's what you just said. If you criticize me and you don't give any, any solution, kind of, then I don't want it. But the first thing I'll look out for is if I, love, if I will be able to show you off to my friends. Thank you. You know what I mean? If I'll be able to show you off to my friends, because if I'm dating and I'm in a circle of women that I walk around with. So, so are, you, you know, are you trying to tell us, Dr. Prince said, he, she, he did not introduce his wife to his friends until like no, that a, is month different. Before, a month no, before the marriage. No. That's why KK got to know no, Dr. That Prince's is wife. That is different because <laughs> like, like we said earlier on, you know, some men, they hide, they, they protect what they have. They, they try to hide it. Oh, is it because until... he doesn't trust his, his friends? Well, like, it, could it, oh, it could be. It could be. Shall we yeah. shift? Shall okay, we shift? let me finish yeah. this. But what she was saying is, yes. you should, like, if a woman cannot show you to a friend, she said, no, no, no. Yeah. I can't have a boyfriend that when I point to my friends, I go like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe jealousy. No, no, no. no but, yeah, yeah, can you can 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 not be jealous oh, yeah. too? No. When my friends go, oh yeah, it means it's a full package, you know. No, because some so friends, bad. some friends, you can introduce them a genuine no, person, but, but that but, friend but, but, but you know will be genuine to you. I know my friends that I will introduce my boyfriend to. Right. And I know my friends that even when I'm with my boyfriend, that's me, he's the is my cousin, you mm -hmm. want him. Mm -hmm. uh, well. So those people are not referred to as friends. Yeah. They're acquaintances. Right. But some right. of them can give bad advice, though. It happens. Well, yeah, yeah. Anyway. The friend, the, there is a huge difference mm. between your friend and your acquaintance. It, it does. Your friend is somebody that waits in your dad down. Mm. Uh, your acquaintance is somebody waiting your dad down. So but we, for me, when we get to the point that you are my friend, that's because I trust your judgment. Right. Okay. Yeah. Trust so your judgment. if I'll be able to show you off to my friends, and then also if I can compromise some of your behavior some of the things you do because i know i'm not perfect you're not perfect as well we have to compromise and i i think always one has to be higher than the other like if you said someone needs to be stupid it doesn't mean you are stupid but because you want to be with the person you do everything to make sure that the relationship works does it make sense yeah it does yeah maybe yeah. mr pussy so, how, with all these being said, mm -hmm. how much honesty is needed to be in a like, like a rela healthy relationship? How much honesty? I mean, can you be honest to the point of death? Is that a question? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't know. I can trust myself, so I can I can vouch for it. Can, can you be vulnerable <laughs> in and open up to someone? And all these things, all these questions, can be only be addressed one. You see, the point that we've all missed, we're talking about um, what they call a relationship. You see, two people just don't come and relate just like that. You know, we're talking about relationship as in relate. So there has to be something 
that uh, we have to point out. And that's not something that we do talk about, attraction. You know, because if a man meets a woman and he says, oh, this is the kind of girl I want to be with, there has to be something that is, um, has to be felt, more or less. So you have to be sexually attracted, not just attraction, you see, because there are so many things. Sexually attracted. Sexually. You cannot be with a woman that you call your wife. Let me wife. check your waist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be with a woman that you call your girlfriend, your wife, your side chick, right? Your slave queen, your mamacita, your chica bonita, mm. anything you can talk of if you are not really sexually attracted to that person. So, so you, Dr. Can I, can I come in quickly? Okay. Cool. Um, so, um, both KK and Doc touched on something really important. She mentioned the fact that um, she needs to be able to introduce um, the boyfriend or husband to her friends and her friends to accept them. Um, KK sort of um, spoke about um, attraction. All these things, um, you know, they, they've been hugely researched and it's known as what we call them um, uh, romantic competence mm -hmm. and yeah. this is and mm -hmm. this is something that um, we all need to learn okay mm -hmm. yeah. now Afia spoke lengthy about um, some of these things some of me obviously I got married not too long ago and I had to research into the topic before I, I made a pick and oh, yeah. I just want to share some of that mm -hmm. if you yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Afia, Afia, Afia um, spoke about a lot of things things like intimacy security respect equality um, trust humor being able to stay at home and have a laugh with your partner without getting tired. Um, things like empathy and good communication, really, really, really important. And then and the sense of being valued. Mm. So um, I suppose as a man, um, my wife or my partner um, needs to um, be able to sit down and, and, and know that you know, my husband values me. And that's the only way that whatever you say to them or say, I say to my wife, um, she would understand and believe in it. If if they don't have that sense of value, it, it wouldn't work. Okay. Now moving on to the main thing I wanted to speak about. So all these things they are very 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 important, but we all forgetting something. No matter no matter how good your partner is, no matter how well educated your partner is, no matter how the, the sort of connection or attraction that you have with your partner is. Mm -hmm. If an individual selects poorly, there will be there will always be a problem. Mm -hmm. You need to have selected the right individual that suits you perfectly, because no amount of education, no amount of counseling, no amount of counseling, no amount of love would make up for selecting a poor partner. Now, if you're well educated, you go to select somebody who is not educated, who drinks a lot, um, who has tons of friends who are all smokers. Mm -hmm. They come home mm -hmm. drunk. You know, no one to eat your food doesn't value. Doctor, you, know you. you know what? You know what? You know what? I will let you stop right one there. Second, let me, we, let we, me we're gonna learn something ask. from the girls. No, I'm gonna let, let me, me stop. Let you. me land and then you can land, move on. land, yeah. you know, yeah. land. No, land. Don't land. Don't land. Hang on right there. If you are, he might forget. If you choosing a, 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 a partner, what would you look at for? Okay. The boy, this is a good point for the boys. We got to, we're gonna learn no, from the girls. That, that's what wait, let me let me pick your husband. What do happy. I look for in a man? But, that's right. When you are selecting. Okay. Then I'm let's 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 I'm just attracted move on. to intelligence. Right. So right from the word go, you need to be super. I I don't I don't like blowing my own horns, but I'm a very intelligent. Wait, girl. Would you get it married with computer that it's very intelligent? <laughs> <laughs> person and so you mm. need to make love to my mind right i always tell if you want to get to me yeah. you need to make love to my mind how do i romance romance freak your mind? me out with your intelligence how do i do that i'm a very strong uh i've got a very strong personality so i don't look for a weaker man I, I, I don't want an abuser, but I want a man who can put me in, in you know, right. put, straight put you in, your position. in my position when it needs to, at a very, like, in a decent way. If I tell you put me in my position, don't come and yell at me because I'm, right, hugging, that's not right. I'm hugging my fans. No, you are not my father. <laughs> if that was how my daddy was behaving, you wouldn't have met me. All right, okay. You get me. That gets and up. and also it comes down to somebody I can communicate to, and then somebody that looks good because me, I, the kind of job I do, if I bring my husband out, they must see. So oh, 
Alright, okay, we're gonna go for short commercial break. We'll be right back and the discussion will continue. Thank you.